Welcome back to Geek Shuffle. We are back in the figure fix category, but something a bit different this time. We have upgraded to a premium box for the first time in figure fix. It is something I've been uh, waiting to unbox for a little while. Um, this was a um, birthday gift from uh, some of my friends to me. Um, and uh, it had to fit into the normal rotation. Um, so I had to wait to unbox it. It has been standing on my shelf looking menacing. Um, and yes, it is of course a Harlequin to fit into my Harlequin collection. Um, I like her very much. Uh, and I, I do have a couple of Harlequin Harlequins, Harlequin figures, uh, standing on my shelf on, already, uh, but I do look forward to adding this one to uh, to the lineup. I don't have anything in this price range, um, and with that we can jump into the price. Uh, you don't look look uh, look gifts, <laughs> gift horse in the mouth. Uh, you don't uh, often look the price up on gifts, but because this is a review as well. Uh, um, uh, we do that here. Um, this, I think the MSRP on this is $80, I believe, in the US. Um, the prices fluctuate a lot. It, this product came out in 2017 originally, uh, which means you can find it cheaper some places and more expensive some places because it is harder to find somewhere some places and it is easier to find some places some shops want to get rid of it and some shops are trying to hang on to it because it is a collector's item it is a limited product they only made five thousand of these some argue if that is limited or not uh, but they are numbered one to five thousand um and they come in two variants. They come in the black and white version, the monochrome, and they come in the colored version. It is part of a series um, in uh, together with two Batmans. Um, there's the Batman that is uh, done by Americana as well and uh, John Romita Jr. Um, but yes, this is the Americana version uh, based on her run in... Uh, where she started up in the new 52 uh, in the same design, the roller girl uh, design uh, with the big mallets, just like she has in here, what we will see uh, when we open her up, which might be more fitting here. Uh, where I have the, the, the monochrome uh, variant as well uh, of the Harlequin number one from her run. Uh, but let's jump into it and see how she looks if, when we take her out of the box. Okay. Got a styrofoam, nicely well protected box. Okay, not a lot else in there. And we have a <laughs> wow, we have a very solid base uh, compared to the that has been the main issue with the sheep cheaper figures we have looked on at, on the channel uh, so far, and it is numbered. Um, that is the same as with all the other figures manufactured in China. That is something we can avoid in many cases. Numbered 0997, 997 out of 5000. Trademark DC Comics. Uh, Batman logo. All right. And a sing single stud hole um, for the base. And that's, yeah, I guess it is supposed to be Batman logo. Had to cut out its knees there. <laughs> Gonna start again from the point where we take out the figure. Um, allergies, some allergies. Um, and we do a focus check again to make sure. This is 
a very menacing pose. Um, and the, the, the smile, she looks slightly more evil and bigger than she does in the picture. She has her dimples seem to be a bit more pronounced, I guess, for some reason in real life than on the image. Um, mallets and bats, very menacing, very good detail on the figure. Her outfit looks good. Uh, no issues, but yeah, you would expect that in, in that price range, almost a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars, yeah, yeah, almost a hundred dollars, eighty dollars MSRP. It is exactly a hundred dollars in, in the EU because of the VAT. Um, so, uh, so definitely uh, a premium figure. Um, and yeah, no issues at all. It is, it looks, it looks flawless. Um, Colouring, no problem, no painting, no issues here. Very, very cool. Going to hit the base. And slide in. Yeah. Styrofoam. And I'm just going to readjust the camera on a moment. And we're back. She isn't as tall. I think she is 17 centimeters. Um, no idea what that is. Inches, five and a half inches, maybe. Um, no, she's seven inches. Seven inches. I think I, I looked that up. Seven inches. I might, I should be able to do that conversion by now. I have a lot of figures. There's something about the face. Hard to tell if she looks drunk or evil. But I guess that is the case some sometimes. <laughs> um, but very, very cool figure. It's it's gonna look pretty awesome. Not a, not a lot of fixing to do with this this um, it's going to be a shorter video than the others because I don't have to do anything. I just have to look at it and enjoy. And I'm, of course, going to add uh, the normal close-up close uh, images. Um, uh, the 4K pictures, um, as I wrote it. So you can get a close-up look. Well, I am very happy with my present, I must say. Sometimes it is good to be a birthday boy. I hope this was interesting to somebody. Um, it was definitely interesting to me. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.